Dali 3 was launched a couple of days ago and the results so far has been interesting and surprisingly very good. So in today's video, I'll be walking you through how to assess it and how to use the 3 to generate quality images for your digital product as well as other projects that you might have ongoing. So let's dive right in. There are three ways to assess DALI 3. Two ways are free and the third option is paid. So let's look at the free methods first of all. So when you come into Bing Chat and come into the bottom here that says more creative, you click on that and you're going to paste in a, sp a specific form. I'm going to paste in one that I've prepared for this tutorial. And you're going to paste it and hit enter. And it's going to go ahead to generate a couple of images. Sometimes it generates three, sometimes it generates four. But from here, you'll be able to generate an image based off of what you have typed in. Let's wait for it to finish and see what it generates. The images are generated. So once you click into it, you could see what it generated. This is not bad. Let's just play around. This is really good. And you could see that text is written really well compared to some other generative AI tools that are just struggling with text. One thing to notice that is these images are generated by the aspect ratio 1024 by 1024. That's the square. And you could always click on download if you're satisfied with any of the images. Another way to assess the DALI 3 would be using the Bing image creator is essentially the same with the Bing chat just that this is specifically for images and something to take note of is you only have 900 boosts every day to run your images fast once you exhaust your 100 boosts the images take quite a lot of time to create it takes about 30 minutes um, to create using the free version of it. Let's just paste it here, the same prompt, and hit on create and see what it's going to generate for us. Just by looking here at my recent, you could see that these images are the same image I generated from Bring Chat. Both of them are communicating. But well, let's just wait for this to finish up to see if the images are different. Okay, so the image I generated here, you could see this gives a little bit of detail i like this one the text is still very clear and here this looks good as well not so bad one else one good thing else about this is once you click on there's an option here called customize so let's for instance choose the first one and click on customize it opens the microsoft designer i've covered this tool before in the past you could check it out on the channel and this gives you the ability to generate different post templates using the images you have as you can see it generates some of them but this is not what we are covering today so let's just head back here as well you could share save or download and it will be downloaded as a jpeg these are the two free options of how to access dolly 3. now for the paid option you find this within chat gpt so this is specifically for chat gpt plus users so you have to pay for that to assess this once you come to gpt4 you could see here Dali 3 as one of the beta you just select that but before we go ahead to start testing some of the prompts within here we need to understand what other aspect ratios does dal e3 within chat gpt have so we can just ask it what aspect ratios can it generate and once we paste in this and hit enter it's going to tell us what aspect ratios it can generate it's saying that it can generate three aspect ratios square wide and tall so for now those are just the three aspect ratios you could use for dali 3 so let's test the same prompt that we use to test the free version to see if the images in terms of the quality improves or are they the same we'll just hit enter and one good thing about dali 3 is when you type in a specific prompt starts to rewrite it in such a way that it gives you more detail on how those images are being generated in the sense that it gives you more description that would help you generate a more accurate image let's see what it's going to generate as you can see generating four images this really looks way better than the free version let's just click into it as you could see, the image quality is way better than what we have seen using the free options. And here you could see the 
prompt that they use, a very detailed prompt. You could copy it and use it in places like Meet Journey if you want. And here, let's just pan through. These look really well. So this has a little bit of a problem when it comes to the spelling, but it, it spelled it almost completely right. These look really good. I love this. Okay, this is the quality you get when you are using Dolly 3 within ChatGPT. It gives you a better quality essentially. But before we go ahead testing some couple of examples I have to showcase today, it's important to mention that images you generate, you don't need permission to use it. You can use it to reprint, sell, or merchandise them. This is from OpenAI's website. So in terms of using these images to generate things like coloring books, children's story books, or any other digital product that we have talked about on this channel, you are free to use it, which is very critical and very key. Moving back to Dolly 3, we'll be testing a couple of examples of some of the digital products we have created on this channel to see how well it's going to do. All right, we'll be starting off this example with coloring changes or coloring images. We have seen how popular these have gotten since AI became very popular. So let's try out some couple of prompts that we need for coloring images. We'll just space our access to create a black and white sketch of a baby elephant for a coloring page top outline. And let's see what it's going to generate for us. Now, this looks really good. Let's click into this. You could see how the outline played out. This looks nice. It has a bit of a black shadow some in a couple of places, but I'm sure when you reiterate it a couple of times, you'll be able to get perfect one for your coloring book. So this looks good. I'll totally use this. This looks good as well. Let's look at this one. So this has a bit of gray, so I might not recommend using this. This too has a bit of a gray scale, but the middle two are quite good for coloring books. So another thing else I wanted to test is I've seen coloring books that are majorly text based, not images. Let's test that out to see how Dolly is going to handle that when it has to do with text for coloring books and see if it's going to solve that problem. We'll just hit this as for this prompt, I said, text illustration for a coloring book that says pumpkin spy sharp outline black and white and let's hit and generate and see what it's going to do for us once an image is generated you could always ask it to generate more based off of any of these images it has generated obviously when it comes to um, ai generated images no one image is the same it's going to generate something different you have to pay attention to that okay it generated this for us though this has too thick of a black line for a coloring book it's not bad but this can be way better let's try to generate more and uh, in a wider aspect ratio to see if it gives us something different it's done generating it still doesn't get it quite right yet let's look at here yeah it doesn't this you can't obviously color this you can color every other thing but not this but you could use it depending on what you're trying to showcase I generated other ones that look really better than this, but you could try out a couple of times to see if you could generate something better. These are the two examples I wanted to show when it comes to coloring books specifically. So we'll move ahead to test out clip art because we talked about clip art and digital products on this channel. The first one would be for it to create an image, a watercolor image when it comes to a blueberry cake. And let's see what it's going to generate for us. This looks really nice. When it comes to watercolors, I think it did a very good job with this. This is exactly what you would see in Mid Journey as well. This looks good. Yeah, the images are, came out really nice. I like how the watercolors are looking like. So let's test one more thing. I want to generate some cute vegetables as well for kids flashcards. And let's see what it's going to generate for us. I have put in a bracket, carrot to red pepper and onion. I want to see how it's going to create this image. Specifically, if it's going to put three of them in one image or what it's going to do. Let's just see. We generated three of them in one image, which is interesting. Because in some instances when I was testing it, it would generate 
a single image for the three images and generate three of them in one but in this scenario it generated three all at once which is not bad like i said these images are really good so you could always take it to places like canva and cut it out depending on what you want to use it for and don't forget for every ai image um, that you generate you have to upscale it before you start using it the last set of examples that i'll be looking at would be how to create characters for things like children's storybooks or any character you want for your project essentially let's look at some examples so i want to create um, a character of a black lady with an afro hair with different expressions and it's going to be a character sheet because it's the same way that we generate consistent characters when you come to meet training and see what it's going to say and one thing to note uh, in this particular situation is that i put this in the name let's see if you can generate image by referencing a type of style okay we generated a character sheet which is not bad so let's click into this and you could see different facial expression this is just a straight face these expressions are the same but this is goofy she's smiling she's opening her mouth and this is the main character this has the same kind of facial expression while this is different a little bit this has different hairstyles as well as different facial expression the image in this scenario might not be as quality as me journey but you could see that it's doing a pretty good job trying to create something like somewhat of a consistent character another thing i noticed is because i use disney in a scenario where i choose to use things like sir it might give me an error saying that you can't use that based off of copyright so let's try it and see what it's going to tell us so you could see saying i'm sorry but i can't directly reference pixar style it doesn't allow that unlike in mid journey where you could say in the style of this or in the style of this particular artist it's going to go ahead to generate something but it's not going to be the pixar style or disney style in that scenario that you would have to be aware of but it's trying to do a pretty good job here trying to mimic some characters specifically as you could see here let's see what it generated the second image came out really well let's click into this and see yeah you could see the same character with different facial expression with her hair packed differently this is not bad at all i think this could get better with time and we could develop more of it and see how it looks let's click into another one that it generated this looks with different hair this is not bad yeah this looks okay generally i would say that it's doing a good job trying to create these characters but but now me journey seems to have more um, quality when it comes to the richness of the character but you could see that you could generate similar things here as well because sometimes consistent character is something that people struggle with especially they want to create things like storylines or storybooks you can also pay attention to that as well this is what i wanted to share when it comes to doll e there are other things i'm definitely testing and i will share as the time goes on but if you want to share with me other creations that you have made you can share that in my discussion discord community the link will be in the description box so let's have a conversation about it and also let me know what you think in the comment section below thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one